Toyota's bold new engine could shake up the auto industry. Toyota is developing a brand new engine that could completely rewrite the rules of the automotive game. The company says it's working with governments to build the needed infrastructure and is investing in technologies that aim for zero emissions. While much of the world is charging full speed ahead into electric vehicles, EVs, one automaker is quietly taking a different path, Toyota. While companies like Tesla, Ford, Volkswagen and others are going all in on EVs, Toyota has taken a step back and asked a critical question. Are we really ready for an all-electric future? Instead of following the EV trend blindly, Toyota's engineers have been working on something no one expected, an engine that could disrupt the EV narrative entirely. So what's going on here? Is Toyota just being stubborn or are they seeing something that others missed? Let's dive into Toyota's surprising strategy that's putting a whole new spin on the EV race. And trust me, it's going to make you think twice about the future of cars. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the latest tech updates. The world's EV obsession. Right now, Tesla, BYD, and nearly every major car brand are betting big on electric vehicles. Governments across the globe are offering incentives and rolling out strict regulations to speed up the EV transition. On paper, it looks like a done deal. But here's the catch. The world simply isn't ready to go fully electric, at least not yet. The biggest challenge? Charging infrastructure. In many cities, and especially rural areas, charging stations are still few and far between. Then there's the issue of battery materials. Lithium, cobalt and others are expensive, hard to mine, and often come with serious environmental and human rights concerns. Plus, EVs put a massive strain on power grids. If millions of people start charging their EVs at the same time, it could push the energy system past its limits. Electric vehicles also struggle with long-distance travel, heavy cargo and cold climates. So while EVs are definitely a part of the future, they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. Why Toyota isn't rushing into EVs, Toyota's approach is simple. Don't jump into a trend without thinking it through. While other automakers rush to ditch combustion engines, Toyota is hitting the brakes and saying, wait a second, are we really ready for this? And no, Toyota isn't afraid of innovation. Remember the Prius? Toyota brought the world's first mass-market hybrid back in 1997, long before electric cars became cool. They've always been pioneers, just not always in the loudest way. Toyota believes that pushing EVs too fast could backfire, especially in regions where charging infrastructure, battery materials or clean electricity simply aren't available. So instead of putting all their chips on EVs, they're investing in a broader mix. Hybrids, improved combustion engines and hydrogen power. Back in 2021, Toyota raised eyebrows at the COP26 climate summit by refusing to sign a pledge to stop selling gas-powered cars by 2040. While most automakers jumped in, Toyota said, not yet. They pledged to keep developing EVs, but also other clean technologies like hydrogen. Critics accused them of slowing progress, but Toyota stood firm. Their argument? A rush to EVs might do more harm than good in many parts of the world. The real challenges behind EV adoption. Let's talk about the not-so-glamorous side of EVs. Electric vehicles might be great for reducing tailpipe emissions, but manufacturing them and their batteries comes with huge environmental and ethical costs. Lithium mining, for example, can devastate local ecosystems and drain water supplies in countries like Chile and Argentina. Cobalt mining in the Congo often involves child labor and dangerous working conditions. On top of that, most EV batteries only last about 8 to 15 years. Right now, there's no large-scale plan to recycle them, which could lead to a mountain of hazardous waste down the line. Then there's the cost. Even with subsidies, the average EV in the US costs over $50,000. Compare that to $35,000 for a gas-powered car. And don't forget charging times. Home charges can take up to 40 hours. Fast charges are faster but expensive and still not widely available. For drivers without a garage or those living in cities, charging can be a nightmare. The US has around 160,000 public chargers today, 
but experts say we'll need at least 10 times that to support a full EV future. Toyota's hydrogen-powered bet. Here's where Toyota gets bold. While everyone's focused on battery EVs, Toyota is quietly betting on something different. Hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of running on gasoline, these engines burn compressed hydrogen. They deliver the performance and driving feel of traditional gas engines. Quick acceleration, fast refueling, and long. The benefits? Hydrogen cars refuel in minutes, just like gas cars. They're lighter than EVs because they don't carry massive batteries. And unlike EVs, they don't lose performance in extreme weather. Range anxiety? Practically gone. But there's a challenge. Hydrogen fueling stations are scarce. In the US, you'll mostly find them in California. In Europe, the network is slowly expanding. Toyota is working with governments and private partners to build more, but it'll take serious investment and time. There's also the question of how hydrogen is produced. Most hydrogen today is made using fossil fuels. Toyota is pushing for green hydrogen from renewable sources, but scaling that up won't happen overnight. Why this strategy matters, Toyota's long-term vision is clear. They're not betting everything on one technology. Instead, they're developing hybrids, hydrogen and EVs to create a mix that works in different parts of the world. This approach isn't just about the environment, it's also about affordability, accessibility and practicality. Toyota wants to ensure people everywhere, from big cities to remote villages, can still own a clean, reliable car. And here's something most folks miss. Traditional mechanics can still work on hydrogen combustion engines. Unlike EVs, which require specialized training and tools, hydrogen engines are mechanical, just like today's cars. That means small auto shops don't get left behind. The final word Toyota's hydrogen-powered future might sound like a sci-fi dream, but it's very real. While most automakers are putting everything into EVs, Toyota is playing the long game. Will they fall behind? Maybe. Or maybe, when the world hits EV roadblocks, like charging grid failures or battery shortages, Toyota will be the one saying, we told you so. They're not against electric vehicles. They just believe there's more than one path to a cleaner future. And maybe, just maybe, they're right.